All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call them La Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to your Anki out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled, Don't allow Babylon to blind you, okay? Or don't let Babylon, you know, blind you. And, um, you know, Babylon, aka America, you know, uh, there's a lot of distractions that is uh, within Babylon, you know, from women to the bread and circus to, you know, uh, you name it, you know, there's a lot of things that goes on throughout Babylon that can, uh, you know, uh, distract you, you know, so you don't want to, you know, allow Babylon to blind you, you know, and this is not towards anyone in particular, this is just, you know, me making this video through the spirit, you know, you know, making this, this, uh, this is just in general, you know, for, you know, uh, you know, uh, exhortation, you know, uh, video, you know, just to, put this on wax to the, you know, the Lord's sheep, you know, because, you know, with new believers coming in, you know, there's going to be all kinds of temptations that you have to deal with, you know, and even, you know, if you're, you know, a few years in the truth, you know, you still got to deal with, you know, temptations and, you know, um, and worldly things, you know, because we're fighting to stay, you know, in the spirit, you know, because we're in a spiritual war. You know, Satan, he's always around the corner trying to, you know, tempt you, you know, trying to sift you. OK, so you don't want to allow, you know, this this evil temporal world to uh, blind you from the uh, the the, the, uh, the mission. OK, because we're on a mission, you know, towards salvation, you know, serving how Bashem Shai with faith, fear and humility. Right. And sincerity. OK, so real quick. Since the title of the lesson is called, you know, Don't Let Babylon Blind You, let's snag this quick precept. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4, and it says, uh, uh, verse 3, it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You see, and he's like, a lot of these people, you know, the gospel has been spread across the, you know, the earth, you know, but the, but the ones who don't, who can't get it, you know, the ones who don't see is because they're lost. You know, they're, you know, they're in gross darkness, right? Especially our people, you know, two thirds of our people, you know, they're lost in the sauce, right? Verse four says, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. You see, so and who's the, and who's the God, the God of this world? Okay, Esau, you know, the ones that, you know, the elites, you know, the one that the, you know, the Lord gave power to. Okay, it says that the, uh, the, uh, the, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. So being that the earth has been given to the wicked, you know, the wicked has power to control, you know, the narrative right now. He has power to control, you know, media and what you see. You know, he has power to control what you always indulge in. You see, you know, you know, why do you think he always, you know, promotes, you know, promotes here in Babylon, you know, food, drinks, you know, fun, you know, sex, you know, women. Because he wants to use those things, you know, uh, uh, to get you, you know, to blind you to, 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 uh, so that way your, your, uh, uh, your, um, dumbed down to what he's, you know, really trying to do, you know, and that's ultimately, you know, uh, um, implement his new world order, and you know, and the ultimate goal for that is to have everybody, you know, uh, see hipped, okay, but that's why it says that we're not ignorant to say devices. Let's let's stand that real quick. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, meaning his evil scheme or his evil plots. So we are not ignorant to what Esau is trying to do. We are not ignorant to, you know, his uh, uh, evil plans, okay? Because he's been exposed in all levels, okay? He's been exposed in all levels through the prophets of, through the prophets of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, okay? So back, so back in this uh, scripture, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, it says, 
and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds. It said blinded the minds, you see, so their minds has, has been blinded, you know, you know, their, uh, th you know, their thought process, you know, they know their way of living, you know, everything that they are about, you know, uh, uh, is contrary to Yahweh Shemal Shah, because why? Because, you know, they have, you know, um, they're drunk off that wine of Babylon. So their so their minds are so ultimately meaning what? They're through. Okay? So their minds are blinded. Okay? And it says and and, and that's because they, they've been blinded by Esau, the god of this world, you see? And it says which believe it says blinded by uh, excuse me, have blinded the minds of them which believe not, you see? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai Mashiach who is the image of the Most High Yahweh to shine unto them? Okay, now it's the point right there. You see, so you know, don't allow this world to you know blind you like the rest of these people. You know, because um, real quick, we go to the Book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse. Um, let's see here. Verse five, it says. Um, Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. You see, these people out here, you know, you know, they're spiritually asleep. You know, they're spiritually dead. So they're not, you know, uh, um, committed. Excuse me. They're not committed, you know, on keeping up a prophecy. You know, they don't know about prophecy. They don't know about the truth. They don't know about you. How about Shemal Shah? You see, all they know about is, you know, uh, Babylon, the bread of circus, the distractions, the folly. That's all they're worried about because all because that's all, you know, that their, you know, uh, their minds are given to. You see, because they've been blinded by the by the God, by the God of this world. OK, so, so therefore, you know, they're asleep. OK, they're not spiritually awoke. And it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, right? Let, let us not sleep, you know, the, the prophets, the servants, the believers of Yahweh Hashem Shai, because we should know the times that we're living in, okay? We're living in the time of prophecy, uh, uh, you know, prophecy being fulfilled, okay? And it says, as do others. And who and who are the others? The, other, the people out here, the masses, the sheeple, okay? The ones that don't have a clue what's going on. The ones that are completely oblivious to the seasons that we're living in okay we're living in the time of uh, of very prophetic events okay and they can't see that but we can so we've been blessed to see you know uh, you know these uh these secrets that Yahweh Shemal Shai has shown unto us we are blessed to hear you know see uh, you know the the uh, the uh, prophecies you know you know uh, right coming off the you know the scriptures right you know into real life because prophecy ultimately is reality okay that's why it says bless your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear so the lord has you know woken us up to what's really going on okay that's mercy because we have been given a chance to uh uh a chance you know to uh you know uh, uh as salvation you know a chance to be delivered man you know and it says uh, oh and that's why it says um uh, um, what was that in uh, Ephesians? It says, uh, um, uh, how's it go? Uh, let me, let me get together. Uh, let me look at it real quick. I'm, I'm going to head back to this real quick. I want to stack this quick preset, but just came to mind. Um, Ephesians, I believe it's five. Yep. Ephesians five and verse uh, 15 to verse 16. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly. Right, not as fools, but as wise. You see, and real quick, when you go into the word circumspect, okay, it is Strong's G one ninety nine, Akribos, Akribos, Akribos. Okay, and that word it means to uh, be uh, accurately, to be diligently, okay, perfect, uh, careful, okay, um, exact. All right, and real quick, let's do this. Let 
Now, when you look at the word on Google, the word circumspect, it says, are wary and unwilling to take risks. So being careful, right? Being spiritually circumspect, you know, keeping your eyes open, for, you know, for privacy, you know, and, uh, and knowing what time you in, right? So it says, see then that ye walk, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, right? So the whole case in point of this lesson, which is titled, don't let Babylon blind you because you want to continue to, you know, um, look out on privacy, continue to, you know, stay in the loop, you know, uh, you know, uh, of things with the brothers. So that way, you know, you know what's going on. Just always be aware and, and updated on prophetic times, man. OK, so that's why we decided to so that's why he says right here, work circumspectly, keep your head on a spiritual swivel. You know, like the old saying goes, keep your uh, your eyes dotted and your T's crossed. Keep your eyes peeled, right? It says, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You see? And right here in the NLT, Ephesians 5 and 16, it says, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days, right? So take advantage of the grace period. You know, take advantage of the grace period. You know, and, and of course, we you know, we, we all have our own measure. But according to the measure that you have been given, you know, hey, make the most out of it, you know, and, and go hard, you know, and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. So we can allow, you know, the, the you know, the uh, ways of Babylon to blind us, you know, you know, mortal thoughts, you know, uh, uh, with, uh, whatever you're going through in, in your personal life. Hey, we got to continue to keep going. We got to suck it up and keep walking this walk, you know, and keep talk and, and keep talking to talk. You know, we got to keep, we got to stay the course because you have a shy say, you know, keep the eye single, meaning what? Stay focused, to be focused, remain focused. Okay. So let's head back to um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and uh, verse uh, 6. And it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay. Spiritually sober. Okay, also too physically sober because you don't want always want to dodge and drink. I'm not saying there's there's nothing wrong with with drinking, but you don't want to always constantly drink. You know, the scriptures speak about moderation. Okay, but also too, you know, being spiritually sober. You know, you know, being, you know, you know, having, uh, you know, being aware of what's going on around you. You know, not being oblivious to to, to privacy. You see, because we're not in the world anymore. We have to. You know, remain in, the, in that path of righteousness and, re, and and remain focused. OK, we've had our time and, in, in, you know, you know, in, you know, uh, uh, in the world as Gentiles to, you know, do all kinds of, you know, BS. But now it's time to work. You see, this, this could be say if you don't work, you don't eat. So that's why we are keeping our eyes single, being focused, you know, continuing to uh, stay the course and working. So that way we may, you know, be, you know, uh, 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 elected, you know. OK, to be delivered. All right. And since it says sober, let's grab this. This is the book of first Peter. Uh, five and verse. Uh, eight, first Peter five and eight. And it says, be sober, be vigilant. You see, be sober, be vigilant. OK, and real quickly, the word vigilant, when you look it up on the online etymology, or let's go to the, the Blue Letter Bible real quick. First Peter 5 and 8. The word vigilant for it, for this word. Strong's G, 1127. Gregareo. 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 Okay, Gregoreo. And that word vigilant, it means to, to watch. To uh, give strict attention to, to be cautious, active. OK, so to watch, you know, to, you know, to be, you know, keep your eyes peeled. OK, and we go into the root word of uh, vigilant. It says um, cause to rise, to arouse from sleep, to awake. OK, to, uh, to raise up. To stir up. OK, so. You know, we have to constantly. You know, be on our watch, constantly, you know, be meditating in prophecy. Like it says in the book of uh, Sirach, the 39th chapter, you know, uh, always meditating in the, in, you know, in the prophecies, you know, you know, always, you know, always going in about the prophecies, always, you know, always, you know, um, 
you know, bringing up, you know, the, the prophetic times that we're living in. You see, that's what it says in the book of Revelation. It's in, uh, Revelation 19 and 10. It says that it says that the testimony of you, uh, of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see, and that's and that's what we do. We push prophecy. Yahweh Shai pushed prophecy. You see. We were commanded to, to, you know, to do that. Right. So it says verse uh, first Peter five and verse eight, and it says, be sober, be vigilant. Right. Because your adversary of the devil as a warring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see that? And that's both spiritual and physical. The spiritual demon Satan is always around the corner trying to do some BS. But you have to keep, you know, your uh, you got to you got to be, you know, be spiritually circumspect about that. You know, you got to, you know, you know, know when Satan is around, you know, you got to know, you got to, you know, you got to be aware of of of, of Satan because, you know, he's going to try to. You know, uh, 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 attack. You know, so we got to be uh, spiritually aware. You know, and constantly rebuke Satan through how about small shy, so that way you know, you know we're not um, you know um, caught slipping, for lack of better words. You know, and, and also too physically because Esau eat him. You know, ultimately you know he's gonna you know come you know he's gonna like it's like how it says in Revelation, it's gonna come hard down upon us like you know like a great flood. Because he knows that he has but a short time, you see. So Esau, he's uh, he, he's he's up to no good. So we have to be aware of his plans and what he's you know gonna try to do. And that's why we, you know that's why we, we always got to be you know constantly you know uh, prayed up, you know constantly you know getting close to see how about Shemal Shai. So that way in these last days we can continue to be protected, you know, and be and be you know um, and be protected from. You know, Esau eat him, right? And it says, um, because your adversary the devil as a warring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see? So we always have to be, you know, remain sober and vigilant at all times because you never know when things are gonna, you know, uh, happen. You see? That's why um who said that? I believe the how Shai said that he said, watch, watch and pray. Okay. Let's see, let's see here. This is Matthew. Yep. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41, it says, uh, watch, actually, uh, let's get this. I'm going yeah, I'm, I'm to get this one instead. This is uh, Mark 13 and verse 33. It says, take ye heed, watch and pray for ye know not when the time is, you see. So we always have to be, and that's the words of Yahweh Shai, that's red letter. So we, so we always have to be, you know, uh, ready like the old saying goes, you know, be ready so that way you ain't got to get ready. You see? So we always have to be, you know, um, um, aware, you know, of the times that we're living in. Okay? We, we always got to be, you know, hip to the times that we're, you know, living in. Because, hey, man, at any time, things, things can just, you know, go left. You know, like the time back in 2020 when... You know that the whole pandemic was going on, okay? Like everything just stopped. You know, it just came out of nowhere. You see, so how much more when 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 the real thing happens when when the prophecy actually you know uh, manifests? So we have to always constantly you know uh, you know watch you know as being watchmen of the Lord, you know, you know and, and, and you know and to warn the sheep, but also pray, okay? Because prayer is powerful, man. Prayer is a, is a, is a form of spiritual power. Because when we pray, you know, our answers, our prayers are being taken up, you know, to, you know, the heavens, man. Okay, so we have, so we always got to be, you know, mindful to watch and pray. It says, for ye know not when the time is, right? We don't, we, hey, now, of course, we know, we know that prophecy is going to, you know, manifest, but we don't know when or we don't know how it's going to play out. So we always have to. You know, um, remain in the spirit of, of watching and praying, okay, with all faith, fear, and sincerity, okay. 
This is the book of First Peter, not First Peter, excuse me. Where is it at? First John chapter two and verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any men love the world, the love of the father is not in him. Right. So I'm going back to this title. You know, don't let Babylon blind you because, uh, you know, it can try, but don't let it. OK, because of the, you know, the the glitz and glamour. And that's one thing, too. You know, there, there's nothing in this world to go back to for you to, you know, be be blinded by, you know, the, you know, the fucking mirth is gone. Excuse my language. You know, the mirth is gone. Nothing is popping anymore on Babylon. Everything is played out, you know. So if you feel like you are missing something in the world, then you have a demon on you, okay? Because it says if you if if any man, okay, or a woman, you know, love the world, you know, more than the father, then then the love of the father is not in you. Now of course you know, you know. Now of course you may do things here and there and have a little pockets of fun. Nothing wrong with that, but you know we're not. But you're not always going to indulge in that okay you're not always going to be you know in the world you know and that's one thing too don't don't get drunk you know you know in the festivities that 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 are in the world you know don't get drunk with you know things that may be fun in the world okay because keep in mind that prophecy is going to happen regardless this place that you this place that we're in in babylon in america is our captivity and we're going to be delivered very very soon okay this place is vain so ultimately, this place is going to go out regardless. So why try to have, you know, um, constant fun here, knowing that this place is going to go? Now, like I said, you know, of course, you're going to have, you know, do things here and there. That's cool. But hey, you go, it, everything comes with moderation. Everything comes with, you know, um, um, a sense of uh, acknowledgement, you see, and always, you know, self-examining yourself. OK, and, and I speak to myself first and foremost. OK. And it, and it says, verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. And that's one thing, too. You know, the, the flesh here is very, is very is uh, highly promoted here. You know, it's like it's like everywhere you go, there's a there's a, a naked woman, you know, so, so a female half naked out here. You know, there's constantly some advertisement promoting, a, you know, a, a promoting a, a, um um, something that, 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 that's dealing with sex appeal, you know, so we're, so we're under attack here, man, spiritually. Okay. You know, sex here is, is, is being used as a weapon. Okay. Especially towards the, you know, the, uh, the men here. All right. And being, being that you have, you know, men that fall victim to that, you know, Hey, they get caught up in that and boom, they're gone. You see? I'm speaking about men that are just out there in the world, you know, just, you know, out there in the world, just, you know, just, you know, just oblivious, you see. But us now being the truth, we know we got to, you know, be uh, be aware of that because, you know, a woman, especially here in Babylon, is, you know, is, is a is a huge distraction. OK, and he saw uses the woman heavily here in Babylon. OK, so we can't allow the flesh, to, you know, to uh, overtake us. And it says, uh, and that's in and 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 uh real quick before I continue one, you know, I don't mean to uh to rant, but the woman is just one aspect of how the flesh can overtake you. You know, it could be many forms of how the flesh can, you know, you know, uh can uh overtake you. It can be, you know, you know, doing too much of this, doing too much of that, you know. So it, it can come in many forms, but what I'm saying is, you know, you know, don't allow the you know the lust the flesh you know in, in this world to you know get you don't allow this place to blind you okay and it says in the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world right the pride of life you know uh, i got this i got that you know people here especially people you know on social media you know they think they think that that's real life you see they can't d differentiate from social media life to real life and, and, and when people see that, you know, they get jealous or envious, you know, and they think that they have to, you know, live like that. So so they'll do anything, you know, to be like the next person in social media, you see. But that's why, you know, we know that is that this world is temporal. We know that the, the lives that these people live on this side that have so-called made it, you know, that all that shit is temporal vain. OK. All that shit is temporal vain, man. All right. 
Let's keep going. Verse 17, it says, and the world passed away in the luster of. See, let's read it again. And the world passed away in the luster of. So this world ultimately is going to diminish. It's going to uh, uh, become a thing of the past. All right. And it says in the luster of. But he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. You see? And, that, and that's true. Okay? Because the, because the world, you know, the the ones that constantly stay in, in the word of, of Yahweh, of Shemal Shai, constantly serve him, you know, they're going to they're gonna be good. All right? Uh, verse 18, it says, uh, little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that anti-anointed uh, shall come. Right? Anti-Christ. Right? And it says, uh, even now are there are many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time, right? And uh, uh, anti meaning basically is the opposite, contrary, you know. And there's many of people out here, you know, that's in that mindset of being opposite to, you know, you have about Shemar Shai, you know, to the ways of the Lord, you know, the ones that's in the world, right? Because everybody that's in the world, you know, they think that you know that their lifestyle is is good, but ultimately it's not. It's you know it's evil. Like it says in Isaiah 5 and 20, woe unto, them, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put dark for light and light for darkness. All right. So there's many people out here that are that are in a vibration of Esau because the wicked is ruling. That's why it says the, the whole earth lies in wickedness because he's put his frequency out here. And now people are, are living in a very wrongful manner because of, of Esau, because of because of the wicked. OK. But that's why this lesson is titled Don't Allow Babylon to Blind You, you know, because there's there's way there's bigger things that's, that's about to happen. OK, Babylon's about to be, you know, uh, overthrown according to the Holy Scriptures. This place is about to be destroyed, you know, so there's no point of, you know, uh, trying to. And that's one thing, too, you know, Jake has, especially Jake, they have a uh, a stake here in Babylon. You know, they want to stay here. But 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 they don't know that his place is Babylon's about to be is about to be, be blowing spin the rings. Okay? So you can't allow something vain, you know, blind you knowing that it's about to, you know, be destroyed. Okay. And we can end off on this scripture right here. Since I uh I just thought about it. This is um Second Peter chapter three and verse uh where is it at? Verse thirteen it says, uh, nevertheless we According to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where end dwell of righteousness. You see, and that's what we look for. That that's what that, that's what we are waiting for. That's what we are excited for. Okay, we are uh, hoping to be delivered. You know, we are waiting. You know, on how shy to return, so that way things be back. You know, put back in its rightful order how it's supposed to be. So that way that you know the the earth, you know, can flourish. You know, uh, in the right way. Because right now the earth is suffering because of Esau Edom, right? You know, him being, you know, the uh, the red horse, taking harmony from the earth, taking peace from the earth. OK, so this so this dude, he he has to go. OK. So with that being said, I just want to say call him La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And it shall to you, Anki, my dear, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And Lord's will, the, the uh, Lord's sheep was fed and edified. With that being said, Shalom.